So I'm looking through my phone, which is not very 50s at all, by the way. And I'm looking through my YouTube channel and I'm noticing that I toss the word Hepcat around a lot, but I haven't really explained what a Hepcat is. So let's go to Google and see what they say. So I entered Hepcat and it says Hepcat is a ska and reggae band formed in Southern California in 1989. That's not the Hepcat I'm talking about. Let's keep going down the list. Uh, Wikipedia, Hepcat. Hepcat is a term of jazz, uh, for jazz and beatnik subculture. See hipster, 1940 subculture. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hepcat, definition uh, from Webster's Dictionary. A person who knows about the newest things in music, fashion, a hip person. Uh, not really. Um, what does Hepcat mean? Let me click on this. I've been asked even by jazz music musicians what the term Hepcat means. Here are some definitions I could find. The Webster Dictionary says one person who performs jazz music. Well, that's not the Hepcat I'm talking about. A person who is hep or hip, same as a hipster. Hell no. Um, and uh, let's see here, a performer or admirer of jazz, especially swing. Sort of, I mean, so you can see here, there's not really a concrete definition of Hepcat. And uh, the one I'm gonna give you isn't really concrete either. But it is something that is used a lot in the 50s scene, which is commonly referred to as a rockabilly scene, but I don't like calling it that because not everyone in the rockabilly scene is into rockabilly. They're into 50s uh, music in general, but it doesn't have to be rockabilly. Uh, it could be doo-wop, it could be jazz, it could be uh, hillbilly, it could be rockabilly. Um, I think I got them all right there. Uh, oh yeah, rhythm and blues. So um, pretty much, I'm going to give you a definition of what I usually refer to as a hepcat. And that is someone who dresses sharp, like I am right now. You wear authentic 50s vintage clothing, like I am right now, except for my Nordstrom white butts, which uh, you saw in the first video on how to dress like a hepcat. So I'm wearing a neck loop, a gabardine shirt, a 50 sport coat, some 50 slacks. Uh, you can see I'm wearing a, um, a silver belt, skinny belt. Um, <clears throat> and so that's pretty much what a hepcat is. If you just think of Elvis Presley, look at how he dressed. He was always wearing a sport coat when he was performing and uh, a nice 50s collared shirt and slacks and then his uh, dress shoes. When I'm going out, I pretty much wear uh, dress wear. I wear dress wear and I wear uh, sport coats and I wear a uh, uh, 50 shirt and slacks and skinny belt and usually my white bucks. I used to have uh, reproduction shoes like Jubilees, Geronimo's, uh, Violet Promotions, Rocket Originals, etc. So there's so many uh, reproduction shoe uh, companies out there but uh, I just decided to stick with white bucks because that's probably the easiest thing to pair your, uh, your clothing with. Just white bucks. It goes with jeans, it goes with any slacks you're wearing, any uh, sport coats, so pretty much white books are the ones that I use always. Uh, I actually got rid of all my other vintage uh, shoe reproductions and so uh, although they were really really nice, I didn't find myself wearing them a lot because uh, they didn't really pair up well with all my outfits like the white books did. But anyhow, that's what a, a head cut is. When you see a dry, uh, sharply dressed guy who is wearing a sport coat, but he's really cool. He's, first of all, he's already cool to begin with. He's not cool because he wears the clothes. He's just cool to begin with. Now he's just a cool guy dressed sharply. Um, so usually when you go to Viva Las Vegas, you'll see guys at night uh, in the evening, they'll be wearing their uh, sport coats, their dress shirts, and their slacks, and their dress shoes. Um, and for the most part, it's all authentic 50s vintage wear. And so that's the way uh, Hepcats dress. They dance in this clothing. They socialize in this clothing. Uh, some people even work on their cars in slacks and a, and a dress shirt. So uh, that's how far a hepcat uh, will go. They'll <laughs> dress up sharp no matter where they go. And uh, so that's my definition of a hepcat. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. This is Modern Vintage Lifestyles. And uh, hope to see you soon.